I'm Bradford Cook, founder and CEO of Endeavor Silver Corp, and welcome back to this third of our five-part series on silver. Uh, this part is entitled Silver as an Industrial Metal. And when you think about it, silver is really the most versatile of all the metals. Uh, silver is uh, the best known natural conductor of electricity, the best known conductor of heat, the best natural reflector. It's malleable, it can be flattened down to a micron thick plate. It's ductile, it can be drawn out into a fine, fine wire. And silver can be uh, polished to a high shine uh, for mirrors and other reflectors. Over the past 100 years, research has developed a multitude of new uses for silver. I'm going to talk about three disruptive new technologies in the last 20 years. The emergence of silver nanofilms in the mid-90s coating electronic contacts uh, caused a literal explosion of electronic goods. And the emergence of China as a major consuming nation uh, simply uh, exaggerated that uh, growing demand for silver in electronics. Around 2005 though, well, we found a new leader of uh, industrial demand growth in solar photovoltaic cells. And up until recently, solar has been the fastest growing component of industrial demand. Now we're talking about a third disruptive technology, however, with the emergence of the electric vehicle using approximately twice as much silver as a conventional vehicle. And if any of the forecasts for EV growth come true, uh, EV growth will drive silver industrial demand for the next 10 years. So let's talk about in, uh, demand. Total demand for silver is in excess of 1 billion ounces a year, and more than half of that uh, is consumed in industrial uses, approximately 545 million ounces, including photography, last year. Um, if we break that down, the biggest component of industrial demand is the electronic offtake at about 300 million ounces. Uh, and industrial offtake was about flat year on year last year. Uh, the electronic was uh, down 2%, uh, but photovoltaics, which consumed almost 100 million ounces last year, was actually up 7% year on year. Um, looking further down the demand chain, we have automotive demand at about 55 million ounces, and that's expected to grow dramatically as we move forward. And last but not least, uh, brazing and solders uh, are both uh, very important as a demand component number four. Even though industrial demand is expected to decline 7% this year due mainly to the COVID-19 pandemic, um, I fully expect uh, industrial demand to bounce back by year end simply because we have massive amounts of quantitative easing to spur the global economy forward as we come out of this pandemic. Looking forward, the number of new uses for silver beyond the three destructive technologies are multiple. We're talking about silver uh, being used in RFID chips, uh, in LED lighting. 5G cellular technology is a major boom coming. We're looking at silver as chemicals in catalysts, as an antibacterial, in uh, semiconductors, for fuel cells. There's an endless number of new technologies coming for silver. So I think, in summary, uh, the future for silver as an industrial metal is very bright.